Coming into the weekend, national champs, um, it's a big goal of mine. The U.S. title is pretty important to me, so I had kind of picked this race as one of the events that I wanted to be good at, along with two World Cups in North America right beforehand, so it was kind of a big three-week block for me. Knew that I had good form, so I was just hoping that the altitude wouldn't affect me very much coming from those two events at sea level, and that the legs would be good, and they were. Yeah, it started pretty well. Sam Schultz led at the start and he kind of set the pace up to climb the first time. We rolled into the single track 1-2. Got to the bottom, had a small gap on a couple other guys and we hit the climb the second time. He led for a bit and I came around him just kind of riding my own pace and was able to put a small gap on him. And then from that second lap to the sixth lap, the gap hovered between you know, 15 seconds and 30 seconds the entire race. So it was hard to really push it because you go into the red up here at a high elevation. It's hard to come back, but um, Schultz, he never cracked. I thought he might crack. I could see the guys behind him on the long climb you know, going backwards. I realized Schultz was really the only guy midway through the race that was going to be a challenge. And I was, each lap I thought he'd crack, but every time I'd crest the top and start down the descent, I could see he was still around 20 seconds back. So I just had to keep the, uh, keep the head down and keep plugging away. 20 seconds cut. 20 seconds. Sun Valley here, we've had beautiful weather and it's been really dusty out. So the course was very dry and it got looser and looser as the other categories uh, raced through the weekend. Do a long, steep climb. The first half was somewhat manageable. The second half was just brutally steep and um, all you could do to keep going, it was loose. From there, you jump onto switchbacks, which kind of traversed across the mountain. Then we had a couple of rock gardens here on the bottom of a, a kind of flatter loop through the venue area, anywhere two and a half to three minutes worth of kind of smooth, flatter single track with a few rock gardens. You know, specialized, they have a, a weapon for every course, and for this course I chose the Stump Jumper 29er. Um, the bike worked flawlessly uh, with the long climb, you know, the bike is super light. I think I probably had the lightest bike out there, and I'm one of the bigger guys, so that right there is a huge advantage. I rode the uh, Renegator S-Works tires, they have low rolling resistance, pretty good volume, so they were light on the climbs, but you know, they were able to give me some traction on the descents along with making it through the rock garden without any punctures. You know, everything we have is just the best. So the equipment is never the question, you know. You can't put it on the equipment. It's always either on, uh, on yourself or, you know, the other riders. Meet the new boss! It's the same as the old boss! Ted Wild is your national champion again! You know, it feels really good. It's a big relief and uh, I'm really happy about it. No one on this team has their normal jersey. Um, Yaroslav's in the leader's jersey, Burry's in, you know, his South African gear, Susie's the marathon world champ. If you're wearing the normal jersey, you're, you know, off the back on this team. So I was glad to be able to get that stars and bars. He is now a back-to-back -back national champion of cross-country racing. He rides out of Durango, Colorado for Team Specialized, Todd Wells! 2011-2010 cross-country national champion.